Welcome to this module. In this module, we will see how to generate pulse width modulation using MSP 430J2 Launchpad. First of all, we will see an introduction of pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation is also known as PWM. So let's start with basic introduction of pulse width modulation. Pulse width modulation or PWM is a technique for getting analog results with digital means. Digital control is used to create a scare wave, a signal switch between on and off. This on and off pattern can simulate voltages in between full on, that is 3 volt in case of MSP 430G2 launchpad, and off 0 volts by changing the portion of time the signal spends on on versus time that signal spends off. The duration of on time is called the pulse width or duty cycle. To get a variable analog values, you change or modulate the pulse width. If you repeat this on off pattern fast enough with an LED for example, the result is as if the signal is steady voltage between 0 and 3 volt, controlling the brightness of LED. So now let's see what is duty cycle. When the signal is high, we call this on time. To describe the amount of on time, we use the concept of duty cycle. Duty cycle is measured in percentage. The percentage duty cycle specifically describes the percentage of time a digital signal is on over an interval of period of time or the total period of PWM. This period is the inverse of frequency of the waveform. If a digital signal spends half of the time on on and other half is off, we would say that the digital signal has duty cycle of 50% and similarly, if the percentage is higher than 50%, the digital signal spends more time in high state than low state. And similarly, if the duty cycle is less than 50%, you can see the results in this graph. In the first wave, duty cycle is 50% because on time is 50% and also off time is 50%. In the second signal, duty cycle is 75% because the on time is 75% and off time is 25%. And similarly, in the third wave, duty cycle is 25% because the on time is 25% and off time is 75% and the total time is known as time period of PWM. In case of MSP 430G2 launchpad, the default frequency is 1600 uh, Hz which is inversely proportional to time period. In the next video we will see how to generate PWM with MSP 430G2 Launchpad. As you can see, in this, in this graph, the green line represents a regular time period. This duration or period is the inverse of PWM frequency. In other words, with the Launchpad, PWM frequency is at about 500 Hz. The green lines would measure 2 milliseconds each. A call to analog write is on a scale of 0 to 225. Analog write function is used to generate a PWM. When we write analog write to 55, it will generate a 100% duty cycle. And when we write analog write 127, it will generate a duty cycle of 50%. As you can see, first in the first signal, duty cycle is 0 because the signal is of in total period. For example, in the first period, signal is off all the time. In second signal, signal is on for 25%. So duty cycle is 25%. And we will write 64 inside analog write function. And similarly, for the third signal, duty cycle is 50%. And we will write 127 inside analog write function. Because inside analog write function, we can write maximum 0 to 255 and at the, at the last signal as you can see signal is on 100% time so dude cycle is 100% and we will write 255 inside analog write function. So this is all about introduction to PWM. In the next video we will see 
how to generate PWM with MSP430G2 Launchpad.